Hey folks, welcome to another video from King's English and Education Centre. Thanks for stopping by. In this video, we're going to look at simple past tense for beginner level. This is the second video in our simple past tense series. For this video, we'll be looking at how to use simple past questions and how to make simple past questions. As I said before, this is the second video on simple past tense for beginner level. Be sure to check out our other videos as well and subscribe so you don't miss out when we upload. With that said, let's start by looking at some examples. This is Amanda and she's interviewing Lazy Lewis who was lost in the jungle. She's going to ask him some questions. Did you have food? No, I didn't have food. Well, what did you eat? I ate fruit and fish. Did you feel scared? No, I didn't feel scared. How long did you stay? I stayed for two weeks. Did you see anyone? No, I didn't see anyone. All of these sentences use simple past questions. We use simple past like simple present questions to ask yes or no and to ask questions that need longer answers using who, what, when, where, how and why. Simple past uses did like a negative simple past. So let's look at how simple past questions are used. They're used in two ways. First, to ask questions with yes or no answers. And second, to ask questions that need longer answers. Let's look at some examples of how to ask questions with yes or no answers. Did she go jogging on the weekend? Did you visit the Statue of Liberty? Did they finish the project last night? Notice how all of these questions use did. This makes the question past tense. Notice how the verbs go, visit and finish all use the regular form. So the pattern is did plus subject then verb. Now let's look at how past tense can be used to ask questions that need longer answers. What did they do last summer? Where did you buy that food? How long did the flight take? All these questions use a similar pattern to the yes-no questions, but instead they have a question word in front, like what, where and how long. Again, the verb do, buy and take uses the regular form. Let's take a look at how all of these sentences change. For example, he repaired the car. This sentence is past tense because the verb uses ed. When we change it to yes no question, we add did and change repaired to repair. If we didn't know what he repaired, we would ask, what did he repair? Adding what to the front, keeping did and using the regular verb. Let's take a look at another. Cooper worked in a gym. This sentence is past tense because the verb uses ed. When we change to a yes no question, we add did and change the worked to work. If we didn't know where he worked, we would ask where did he work, adding where to the front, keeping did and using the regular verb. Let's summarize the important points. Simple past questions can be used to ask questions that need yes or no answers. And when we want to ask a yes or no question, we use did at the front with the regular verb. We can also ask questions that require longer answers. These questions use a WH word plus did and the verb changes to the regular form. 
The most important rule to remember is that when making questions in Simple Past, always make sure to change the verb back to the original form. That's the end of this short explanation. So, what about you? Can you think of someone who went on holiday? Do you think you could ask them questions using Simple Past? Comment below, and we'll see you in the next video.